What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Sawsbuck team that I built. My other uh, profile, my name is you, so this is me. You is me. But anyway, here we've got a Sawsbuck. Sawsbuck has chlorophyll and a focus sash, running all tech. Throat chop can sometimes knock out uh, Calyrex shadow if you're like not intimidated and they're not bulky and they're not next to friend guard and it's not guaranteed. Uh, but the real cool moves are Endeavor, which will bring the opponent down to whatever HP you have, which will very often be 1 because of the Focus Sash, uh, Thunder Wave for some speed control, which is really important for this Groudon here, and Fake Tears, which halves the opponent's special defense, which is also really important for this Groudon here because... Did I mention it's a Choice Specs Groudon? Yeah, that's weird. Uh, I built a Choice Specs Groudon with Terrifier Eruption. It's max speed, uh, so and it's base 90, so it's like it does the same thing Kyogre does, just not quite as strong, but it'll really catch people off guard. I promise you, we are gonna lead this into someone who does not see it coming and just destroy them at some point. I will keep playing until that happens. Uh, but anyway, Choice Specs, Eruption, Earth Power, Overheat, just for some good damage, and also Thunderbolt, because did you know Groudon gets Thunderbolt? That's funny against Pelipper. Hopefully we can land one of those into a Pelipper. Uh, to round out the team, we got a Firewater Grass Core that appreciates the sun with Entei, with Choice Band Extreme Speed and Giga Impact, which is awesome, uh, in my opinion. Uh, we've got a Rillaboom, just a Rillaboom, I needed something for Maridons and stuff. Uh, and a Walking Wake. This Walking Wake gets a speed boost. Uh, and then we also have a Tornadus. Tornadus is kind of slow. Uh, at least this Tornadus, I mean, is kind of slow. So you can set up Sun if something else is trying to set up Rain. Uh, and it's a good pair with Groudon. If, if Torn Ogre can work, then Torn Don can work. But anyways, I'm super excited to play this Saw's Buck. So let's get into it. Alright, Mikey, with the Ice Horse and the... Ooh, Hariyama Tyranitar, and Amoongus, and Blood Moon, and Clefairy! Um, how do we wreck them? We wreck them by them not expecting Groudon to erupt. Uh, but Eruption is severely weakened by Tyranitar. Hariyama can wide guard. There are some problems with that. Um, Entei can't be faked out, but can be redirected. So if they go for a fake out lead, Entei could be great. Saw's buck. Fake tears doesn't really work on Calyrex. Uh, I don't hate Groudon Entei lead. Because then at least we know where their fake out would be going. Obviously I'm bringing Saw's buck because just the endeavor could be great. Uh, though Sand could mess us up, we may have to try to get Groudon out. And I'm thinking of committing Terra onto Groudon just because, like, yeah, it's a Kali. Um, and then finally, is it Rillaboom? They don't really have any anti-fake out. They do have an Amoongus, which could be annoying. Tornadus feels like I'm just feeding them a boost. Uh, maybe I can save Terra for Rillaboom? I do have a bit of an Ice Weakness here, but, like... The plan is to blow something up really fast. So hopefully we can figure this one out. I think I've seen a team... That's an okay card. I think I've seen a team like this recently. Okay, it's Clefairy. And Calyrex. Okay, I have seen a team like this. The Calyrex is Ice Terra Terra Blast on that on the team I've seen. It might not be the same one. Follow me, Endeavor, Misty Terrain Protect on a Sash Clefairy. Yikes. Uh, so it sounds like what I need to do is blow up Calyrex as hard as I can. They won't Terra Electric. So I might be able to do it. They might let me. Alright, I need to put everything I have into this eruption. And I think I want to double down with extreme speed, because that'll go before the follow me. Yeah. I want to dump everything I have into this Calyrex. I don't anticipate they would Terra, because if they are the team that I saw before, they'll be electric Terra. So they won't want to do that, because precipice blades could be flying. The question is, can they take an eruption plus an e-speed with friend guard up? 
The answer is probably maybe. <laughs> uh, and Follow Me will actually go before Extreme Speed if they get Trick Room up. But let's see if they can take a Specs, Terrifier, Sun Boosted, Eruption from Groudon. They cannot! Let's go! Let's go! And it, oh, it was a crit. It was a crit. The crit may have mattered. I'm not gonna lie. But Calyrex is gone. All thanks to Special Groudon. They're probably sitting there like, what? Huh? Alright, what do you got next? There's Tyranitar. Yeah, Tyranitar is actually really scary now. Uh, the Tyranitar, if it is the team that I think it is, which it looks like it is, is Choice Band. So it's gonna throw a big rock slide and I'm gonna be in trouble. Cool. I think I will just throw a Eruption. Clefairy probably protects here. Choice Band Rock Slide. That's hard to get around, actually. Uh, so I think I'll go into Rillaboom first. I want to get rid of the weather eventually. I think I will just Extreme Speed into Clefairy, just in case they don't go for Protect. Extreme Speed into Ty Tyranitar isn't going to do anything. Oh, but Tyranitar is actually really scary. And I can't let Clefairy get off an Endeavor. Oh, they're going for a Terra. Did Tyranitar Terra go in Terra Ghost just to dodge Extreme Speed? Fine. Uh, that gives you a worse matchup into most stuff, but alright. Uh, I guess they don't know what Groudon has, Pat. It could have been Eruption and then Precipice Blades. They, they don't know. And they double connect Rock Slide and Entei is no more. Oh no, Entei's still around. And Entei's gonna stick around because of his grass. Awesome. Rillaboom's below half. Uh, but we do get to confirm the speed tiers, none of which is surprising. Alright. You are Choice Banded into Rock Slide. And you are... Hariyama, which has Fake Out, Coaching, Wide Guard, and Close Combat. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So what do I have happen here? Uh, they're gonna Fake Out Rillaboom, most likely. Do I preserve Entei? Yes! Entei can do a lot, actually. I'm gonna Fake Out their Hariyama. Make sure it can't do any coaching shenanigans. And then I think I need to go to Sawsbuck here. Will Sawsbuck take this rock slide well? No. But I do believe in Sawsbuck. I think Sawsbuck can take it. And putting down a fake tears or a thunder wave or something could really... Whoa. Did I miss something? They're covert cloak. I missed something. Okay. <laughs> a covert cloak over there. Nice. Very cool. I should have paid more attention to the paste I found. <laughs> well, that's cool. Uh, even though I knew their team, they still got me with some of that best of one surprises. Alright. Here's where I go into Groudon. And you have Wide Guard, and I think you might go for it, having seen Eruption already. So I'm going to double into Tyranitar here. I'm going to click Overheat, and I'm going to click Fake Tears? Yeah, because they're Choice Band, so that'll work. I wish Endeavor would work, but it won't. So yeah. Fake Tears Overheat into the Tyranitar. They do click Wide Guard. Cool. Oh, but that's not something I... That's me knowing them. It's like, all Hariyama should have Wide Guard. That's like the only reason to use Hariyama, is it gets Wide Guard. And Overheat connects. You're not AV, you don't get the Sandstorm boost because there is none, and you're just gone. Awesome. Awesome. Get out of here, T-Tar. Saw's about putting in some work here with this special Groudon. Let's go. And now I'm in a great position to endeavor and overheat. And you should be out of here. 
So I'm locked into overheat. Um, is it safer to swap? It doesn't matter, because Endeavor's not gonna miss. So even if I miss, I can just bring in Entei and Extreme Speed the last little bit of you. Endeavor, and then Overheat's gonna finish you off. I don't care what your ability is. Probably like, I, th I think it was Thick Pad on that other team, so. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. All right, go ahead and leave a comment about if you want me to use that team, because that team's really cool. Uh, and I do have it, so it's an option. GG's, Mikey. All right, we've got a Cali Ice with Pelipper, our worst foe. All right, they have Incin, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Raging Bolt, Pelipper, Calyrex Ice. That's terrifying. That's really terrifying because Urshifu plus Pelipper can cause huge problems for Groudon. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think I could lead Groudon Rillaboom and score a surprise KO with like Thunderbolt into the Pelipper coming in. It's also my only way to stop an Urshifu lead, because an Urshifu lead would be horrendous. Uh, I could also go with Torn on lead, actually, but Torn doesn't seem great here. Uh, of course I'm gonna bring Sawsbuck, Endeavor still is great. Um, and then finally, probably Entei? Uh, I know that keeps me a little bit weak to the Water Squad, but having extreme speed is nice to get around Raging Bolt's Thunderclaps. Walking Wake is okay, but not great. Though, Walking Wake can actually hit a bolt. So maybe it is Wake here. Yeah, I'm gonna give Wake a shot. Because especially if they get Rain up, I can still hit pretty hard with my Hydro Steams and stuff. Whereas Entei, if I, if I lose the Weather War, which is likely... Aw, oh, Tinkerton! If I lose the Weather War, Entei's kind of just an extreme speed bot at that point. Uh, it is an Urshifu lead. And Raging Bolt. I think they would want to bring Pelipper in. And I think they would want to bring Pelipper in on the Raging Bolt slot. But I'm so scared to just click the button. I think I can immediately lose this match if I don't call this correctly. I think if I call this correctly though, I'm in a great shot. So I'm actually gonna fake out Urshifu and Thunderbolt Raging Bolt. Who protects? Ah oh, man. But I do flinch the Urshifu. And now you see that I have Thunderbolt. Ah oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna get out into Walking Wake now on the Groudon slot. I, I guess I didn't lose much for that. Yeah, Groudon needs to get out of here to Walking Wake. Just in, just in case they do go for Surging Strikes there. Um, and how good does Grassy Glide hit whatever you have in the back? It should be okay. But I think a U-turn is more warranted right now. Alright, Groudon is the first to hard swap. And I bring in Walking Wake. Who gets the Protosynthesis, of course. For speed. Uh, they withdraw Raging Bolt. Is that the Pelipper? That's the Pelipper I was trying to call turn one. And now all of our Protosynthesis are gone. But I did call the Surging Strikes right here correctly. Uh, that play is safe if you think you can live a Grassy Glide, which you probably can. I'm not Choice Band, I'm not Miracle Seed. So that was perfectly fine. But, now I can get Groudon back in, and you know I have Thunderbolt. And I get my Protosynthesis back up, and we're feeling good. We're feeling pretty good here. 
I assume Urshifu is locked in to Surging Strikes. The way it's acting, it doesn't have Protect. So I think it's a Scarf Urshifu. So they might take that out. I could th throw a Thunderbolt into either slot and a Draco into the other. That would be fun. Just try to call which one of you uh, becomes Raging Bolt. Uh, but instead, I think I will Hydro Steam Pelipper and click Eruption, actually. Ah, they stay in. I do good damage with Hydro Steam. Uh, but now my Eruption's probably going to be weakened by the Surging Strikes. So I don't know if I'm going to take Pelipper, but if I do take Pelipper with this hit, that would be amazing. Uh, it's going to be pretty weak. It's going to be uh, about 80 base power. Spread in the sun with specs. Come on, Pelipper, go down. No! 1 HP! Uh, and they Weather Ball. That will do a good chunk. But not all of it. Alright, Pelipper's gotta swap here, right? Right? There's no way it doesn't. So I think I want to bring Sawsbuck in on the Groudon slot, so I can just get Sun back later. And they either swap in... Bolt... or Cali. Neither of which will appreciate a Draco Meteor. Yeah, this should be fine. I hope. <laughs> They're keeping Urshifu in, so Urshifu is not going to be a threat this turn. And they do withdraw Pelipper finally. Alright, show me Bolt. I would much rather just hit Bolt. Yes! That's awesome. Surging Strikes isn't going to do nothing to my, my guy here. Yes, connect! Big damage. Goodbye, Bolt. You're out of here. Ostala, bye. Surging strikes into Sawsbuck. Oh, that bounces off. My endeavor is not going to do nothing off of that. It's actually kind of sad. Uh, you could bring Pelipper in. Even if you get rain, though, you're not going to KO either of these with Surging Strikes. Okay, here's Calyrex. Which I cannot fake tears into. Uh, I still have Terra. Probably going to have to use it on Rillaboom. Urshifu is such a non-threat that I kind of want to not target it at all. I think I'll throw a Hydro Steam. And I think some Thunder Wave hacks would actually be better than a little bit of Throat Chop damage, if I'm being honest. Hydro Steam should do something. That's okay. Nothing amazing. And just Surging Strikes into Saws, but yeah, just trying to prevent me from switching here. And now you're gonna Trick Room or Glacial Lance? Neither's a bad play. Uh, it is Glacial Lance. Does not KO Walking Wake. Alright. Cool. Now the scary thing is I want to turn my Rillaboom into a fire type when you still have uh some stuff that scares that. But I think a double into Urshifu here is pretty safe. 
I will lose 17 HP on Wake so it won't go down. I can Hydro Steam, Terra Fire, Grassy Glide, and guarantee that slot is gone. One way or another. Um, mm. I might I need a paralysis on that Calyrex at some point? Sure. That'd be nice. And Urshifu's gone, so I do get another Hydro Steam into Calyrex. At this point, I would have rather Life Orb taken me out, though. Uh, would I rather give them another attack boost or single target Glacial Lance? Maybe this is fine. Yeah, and with another attack boost, they will do a lot more damage. Oh boy, this is getting scary. Sun is gone. We're actually going to lose the Weather War. I guess the real question is, what moves do I throw? Pelipper could have Protect, but Groudon is faster than it. I have to throw a Thunderbolt at Pelipper. And U-Turn would be 140, Grassy Glide would be... I don't know. I think U-Turn's a little stronger. They have not yet Terrad. Which is annoying me. But yeah, I need to Thunderbolt Pelipper. See how much I can do with Woodhammer in the Calyrex. Okay, good. They don't protect the Pelipper. <laughs> Bye, Pelipper. Oh, boy. I may need a Para. Or for this Woodhammer to do just absurd damage. Or for them to go for Trick Room instead of Racial... Oh, that might be enough. That might be enough, as long as Rillaboom can hang on to this... Oh, Full Para! Full Para, let's go! Sawsbuck from Beyond the Grave! Sawsbuck from Beyond the Grave saving us! Because uh, Rillaboom, it was in a really dangerous range right there. That may have been going down. Thunderbolt, Woodhammer. There's nothing you're going to turn into that'll stop that. Battle's cancelled. Let's go! Let's go, Sawsbuck! Good game. Alright, we've got a Maridon matchup. Chen Pao, Lando Ai, Fluttermane, King Gambit, and Incineroar. Ugh. Ugh. That's kinda scary. They got all sorts of stuff. Um, their speed control must come from either the Double Sucker Punches or Icy Wind Fluttermane. Uh, Scarf Lando has also been picking up a bit. Um, Groudon isn't bad on lead, and Rillaboom isn't bad in the back. So maybe I just go Sawsbuck Groudon with Rillaboom back. Or I could lead Tornadus, bait... Uh, no, because that won't work, because they could bait an ice move into Groudon, and then Tornadus just goes down on swapping. Uh, and then finally, Tornadus for speed control isn't bad. Starting to warm up to like Tornadus Groudon. Uh, Entei is okay. It's good into Fluttermane and Chen Pao. Bad into Landorus. Uh, Walking Wake. Walking Wake could be our speed control. It'll be faster than everything but Fluttermane. Just weak into a lot of that stuff. I'm going Entei. And I did get in on time. Though I'm pretty sure when it times out, if you already have Mons selected, it'll take those Mons. Uh, so it didn't matter there whether I timed out or not. Ah. Uh, okay. Maridon Chen Pao is a terrifying combo, even though they lower their own defense. And they don't have a trainer card. Um, Sticking to that white hair, though. Alright, Fluttermane and King Gambit. They sent out their fastest and their slowest mods. Cool. 
I don't hate this, actually. Their Protosynthesis activates, triggering a speed boost. I can Thunder Wave Erupt. Sawsbuck is going to be faster than Fluttermane unless it's Scarf. Yeah, I can Thunder Wave, Terra Fire, Eruption. Uh, what do I lose by Terra Firing? I have Entei Rillaboom in the back. My Rillaboom doesn't really need to change. My Entei loses its extreme speed damage. But if I do enough damage here, what do I need extreme speed for? I'm going for it. I'm going all in. Sawsbuck Groudon is put in a position where it can do something unique to Sawsbuck Groudon. So I might as well click the buttons and hope for the best, right? Uh, Terrifier to boost the damage, and in case Fluttermane lives, which it very well could, reduce damage from any fairy moves. Uh, it looks like a King Gambit Terra, but they're probably tearing to avoid ground moves. Uh, will this KO either? I don't know. I would hope so, but I can't guarantee that. Fluttermane just protects. So King Gambit is going to see what I'm going for. That's kind of sad, but what is King Gambit going for? A uh, Terra Blast or something? Terra Blast into Sawsbuck wouldn't be bad, because you can't Sucker Punch me unless I go for an attack. And then if you bring me to Sash, I can endeavor something later. Good damage into King Gambit. It is Terra Blast. That must be Sawsbuck. Yeah. Cool. Don't mind that. Now another eruption is going to ruin King Gambit's day. You saw that I was going for a Thunder Wave into Fluttermane. Would you... Would you Sucker Punch my Sawsbuck? Probably not. I think I need to Thunder Wave and Erupt again. I don't anticipate this KO's Fluttermane, especially with the damage they just took. Oh, and they got a crit! Oh, there's no way this kills Fluttermane now. I'm doing a little bit over half of the damage that I would have been. So if I can do half, this might have KO'd. But at least Fluttermane is paralyzed, King Gambit is gone. It would have KO'd! Oh man. Uh, but with how little bulk they have, that might just mean Sash. Oh no, am I gonna lose Sawsbuck? I am. That's so sad. Okay. You could be bringing in Maridon here, so I'm gonna go straight ahead and bring in Rillaboom. Also because I think it's the better call here. Uh, you could also be bringing in Landris, for example. Uh, it also... Rillaboom threatens Fluttermane. I might just predict them to go for, like, a Protect on Fluttermane. Or I could fake out the thing next to Fluttermane and just go for another eruption, why not? I still have enough juice. Uh, and it's Demeteros. Okay. Alright, Demeteros. I'm gonna fake you out and just go for another eruption. I know it's not very strong, but it should be enough to take Fluttermane. Uh, they're swapping out. This is Maridon. They want their terrain control back. I get it. That's fine. And you let me eruption. Cool. Thank you. Now comes a big problem. Landorus. Landorus is a big problem. Because I need to swap Groudon to get the specs reset, but I also need to swap Rillaboom to change the terrain back. I think it would be an Earth Power and a Draco Meteor here. And what can I do about that? Not a whole lot. I'm going to try to U-turn out on Maridon. And I'm actually going to give them Groudon. Sludge Bomb into Rilla. And Electro Drift into Groudon. Okay, I got both of my Pokemon in safely. Uh, safely is maybe a stretch, but uh, Landorus was faster, actually. 
than Maridon. Which is very important to note. That means it's probably Scarfed. And we see the Life Orb on the Maridon. Now, the plays I can do, I could double priority into Lando. I could fake out Lando and hit it with a Sacred Fire. I could fake out Lando and Extreme Speed Maridon. I think I want to Extreme Speed Grassy Glide Landris. I think that should take it out. Maridon does protect. That's great. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Extreme Speed does almost half, and Grassy Glide should do all but one. But that's okay, because they should be locked into Sludge Bomb. And if they're locked into Sludge Bomb, they're not gonna knock out okay. Sun is gone. Maridon heals up a little bit, but Maridon's the only real threat, so I have to Extreme Speed there, because I'm choiced. It's the choice I made. And it takes out Maridon. Show me your Landorus' Scar, please. There's no way you make these plays unless you're Scar. Yeah, okay. Phew! And that doesn't even do half. Perfect. Uh, did they tear already? Yeah, they did right away. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Battle is cancelled. Good job, Entei, and Sawsbuck, and Groudon, and Rillaboom. Good job, team. Alright, we're up against the Terrapagos, Clefairy, Iron Hands, Whimsicott, Chiyu, and Water Pond. Alright. Chiyu is a little scary, I think. They have their own speed control. Um, how much can Sawsbuck Groudon lead work? If they go with, like, Whimsicott, they can outspeed. That doesn't work. If they go with Iron Hands, they can fake out. That doesn't work great. Um, and what's my answer really into Terrapagos? I mean, Sawsbuck is great with Endeavor, if I save that. Uh, if I take Speed, Groudon is faster than a lot of their team. So honestly, Groudon Tornadus isn't terrible. Sawsbuck is late game, excellent. And then Rillaboom with AV is good into not Chiyu. Entei is good into Chiyu, but a little bit worse into everything else. Uh, Walking Wake, I don't love. I don't want that here. It's gotta be Rillaboom or Entei. Rillaboom or Entei. Rillaboom? Or Entei? I think I'm leaning toward Entei. Just because Entei's cooler. Like, everyone has a Rillaboom. Who, who has an Entei? I mean, they don't have a Rillaboom or an Entei. How cool could they really be? But they're a playmaker, so I need to anticipate them to make plays. And... <laughs> Kieran. Lol. Alright, let's see what you got out first. Terrapagos Whimsicat. Okay. That's the go button. I'm gonna lose Sun if you Terastalize. But I think we're probably gonna match Tailwinds. And then I should probably just hit you with Groudon with like Earth Power. Because my Groudon should be faster than your Terrapagos once we both set Tailwind. Or if you taunt me pre preventing Tailwind or whatever. Okay, they're gonna keep their shell intact. I wonder if they have like a Calm Mindset or something. Or if they're just going to try to eat a hit with the shell and maybe try to KO my Groudon with Starstorm. That did not do much damage. And they are a Calm Mindset. Okay. Well, I can prevent you from doing that anymore. And bring in Saw's Buck. I 
That doesn't seem like the worst idea. Because you're going to want a Tailwind. Are you going to go straight for Star Storm, though, this turn? You are. And I actually like that. I like that you're going straight for Star Storm, because that means you're probably going to Tailwind Star Storm. Meaning I can get my Sun back. Either by Tornadus living and just setting Sun, or by swapping into Groudon. Yep, my taunt toward you is useless. Maybe I should have taunted Whimsicott to prevent Tailwind. Ooh, but now I'm locked into Taunt. Interesting call. Uh, I guess you were just trying to stop Bleak Wind. Oh no, Sawsbuck, you're such low health. Whatever will I do? Now they can match Tailwind. But they didn't yet, so I'm actually faster. My Sawsbuck is faster than my Torn as well. Uh, would I be faster than their Terrapagos? Who knows. But I can go for the Endeavor here. Oh right, I'm Encored. I can only use Taunt. So I will Taunt your Whimsicott. <laughs> okay, you're a playmaker. You're getting rid of the Whimsicott. That's fair. Into Chiyu. Okay. I'm glad I didn't bring in Groudon there. Because Groudon coming in there might have been a problem. With the plus one and the Beads of Ruin, that would have done a lot of damage. Uh, but they've already burned Terra, which is great for me. Their Terrapagos might have uh, Protect. They have Calm Mind Star Storm. They don't have Leftovers. We know they have Chiyu and Whimsicott. I believe this is our last turn of Tailwind. Uh, but I have two Choice Mons, so I need to make an important decision here. Our last turn of Tailwind. They do not have Tailwind. They're gonna protect Terrapagos for sure. Uh, I can lock into Extreme Speed. That's an okay move against everything. Groudon, I'm not gonna lock in Eruption. I think Earth Power is fine though. Earth Power into Chiyu and just lock Extreme Speed. I think that's fine. I think that's what I want to do. Uh, Chiyu swapping out into Ogre Pond. And Terrapago swapping out into uh, Whimsicott. Fine. I can prevent Tailwind if I go for another extreme speed there. But I think I would rather Terra Normal E speed the Ogre Pond, try to get, get rid of that. And just Earth Power into Whimsicott now. Uh, what do I anticipate them to do? Protect and attack with Ogre Pond, or set up their own Tailwind? They probably want to get rid of Entei first and foremost. That extreme speed causes them problems with their low HP Terrapagos. But with Tailwind, they can outspeed Groudon. So I think this is the play. Uh, will it Oko Ogre Pond? That'd be awesome! <laughs> this is a lot of damage behind this. And yes, Whimsicott does protect. I was considering doubling the Ogre Pond, but I was a little worried about that. Like, just in case Ogre Pond spiky shielded. Ogre Pond doesn't go down! Ooh. That's annoying. Ogre Pond's gonna heal all the way- eh, that's not that much healing, honestly. And you block the Earth Power there. Okay. 
Now you've got to protect Ogre Pond, right? Okay, if I extreme speed Ogre Pond and you get a free Moon Blast or something off. <sighs> I'm down so much, I need to be correct on this. I need to get this right. I need to Earth Power Whimsicott. I'm gonna extreme speed the Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond swap, that's great. Actually, I like that a lot. Giving me Terrapagos for absolutely free is awesome. I think I see their plan though. Their plan is for their Chi Yu to take out my Entei. Yeah, they're setting up Tailwind for some reason. I don't really get that. Whimsicott goes down to Earth Power, actually. That's awesome. Oh, but yeah, I have to dump everything I have into Chi Yu. <laughs> uh, Groudon, Groudon, you're not gonna make it. But if I can Oko Chi Yu, and I did a lot of damage to Ogre Pond, so that's actually conceivable. Uh, would they be Sash Chi Yu? We haven't seen their speed tier yet, but we did see them hard swap. Sash on Chi Yu would make sense, but so would Scarf, honestly. And Scarf is a little bit more consistent with just hard swapping it out right away. I'm happy to double the Chi Yu, because if it does protect, I basically... I mean, if it's Sash, and they for some reason ignore Groudon, that's the play. Okay, they follow me, and they are faster than my Entei because of the Tailwind. But they were going to be faster than Entei ever, anyway. So they've got, like, one shot with this Chiyu. And they have to take us both out, or they'll be gone. So this has to be a Heat Wave, and it has to KO Entei. And it doesn't. So we've got a shot. Now, are they... Scarf or Sash? That's what this comes down to. Uh, no protect, so maybe they're just Scarf. Oh, and they just live on one anyway, no! Oh, and you connect three heat waves in a row to end the game. Oh no. Oh, good game. Good game, Playmaker, you made some plays. Oh. GG, that was a really close one. All right, we are back. I think everyone on this team did great. I'm really proud of Sawsbuck, even though Sawsbuck isn't necessarily a great Pokemon. I think it did pretty good. Could it have been a Whimsicott? Sure, maybe, but whatever. I, I think it was great. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about Choice Specs, Groudon, and Sawsbuck. And leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.